In this video, we will introduce our new work, ESVO2, Direct Visual Inertial Odometry with Stereo Event Cameras. We propose an event-based stereo visual inertial odometry based on ESVO, aiming to overcome the limitations of state-of-the-art direct methods, which suffer from high computational complexity in the mapping subproblem and degeneracy in camera pose tracking for certain degrees of freedom in rotation. The proposed system consists of four modules, namely pre-processing, mapping, localization, and the back end. We propose a novel event representation called Adaptive Accumulation, AA for short, which controls the event accumulation based on local event dynamics. We first define A as the event activity, which represents the number of events within a given time interval. Both the event activity and the decay rate, denoted by beta, can be updated according to equations 1 and 2 with each incoming event. When the event dynamic is constant, the event activity will quickly converge to a constant value, as shown in equation 3, where B is the time interval between events. The figure B demonstrates that even when the time intervals between events are uneven, the event activity will still converge. We utilize the convergence property of local event activity to perform independent adaptive accumulation on small regions of the image. Compared to the time surface, adaptive accumulation ensures clearer contour while maintaining fewer non-edge points. As a result, point sampling on adaptive accumulation map extracts more contour points than selecting the latest events in ESVO. We divide the contour points sampled from adaptive accumulation map into two groups based on the gradient direction. One group is used for temporal stereo matching on adaptive accumulation maps to recover textures parallel to the baseline of the stereo camera. The other group is used for static stereo matching on time surface maps, where a fast version of zero mean normalized cross correlation is employed to reduce the processing time to less than one fifth of the original. The depth maps obtained from both methods are then merged together to get the local map. Our localization module estimates the pose by solving a 3D to 2D registration problem that aligns the local map to the time surface, with IMU pre-integration providing the initial guess. Since the time surface only has gradients on one side of the edges, which is not conducive to problem solving, a blurring filter operation is applied. However, this results in a notable offset in the location of the edges. To address this, we propose an offset-free time surface by concatenating the time surfaces before and after blurring, ensuring that gradients are present on both sides of the edge without offset. We apply a sliding window, in which the last end pose estimates and the corresponding IMU's measurements are involved. The objective is to refine the estimated linear velocity and IMU biases at the corresponding time of each involved pose by minimizing the Mahalanobis norm of IMU measurement residuals. The weights are derived from the covariance matrix in the propagation of IMU pre-integration. To assess the performance of our system, we collect our own outdoor dataset for evaluation. At the same time, extensive evaluations on five publicly available datasets featuring different resolutions and scenarios justify the superior performance of the proposed system against five state-of-the-art methods. The better estimated IMU biases and linear velocities at recent poses facilitate camera pose tracking, thus leading to a notable improvement in tracking accuracy. Compared to ESVO, our new pipeline significantly reduces the camera pose tracking error by 40% to 80% in terms of absolute trajectory error. Furthermore, the mapping efficiency is improved by a factor of 5. At the same time, our system supports event camera inputs of various resolutions. As shown in the video, it demonstrates high accuracy in pose estimation and mapping on high-resolution event cameras. We have released our pipeline as open source software on GitHub, supporting future research in this field. Feel free to try our system and reach out with any questions or feedback.